Well, hopefully, this time, uh, hopefully, this time I'll uh, get the actual campaign. Uh, well, as you have, as you might have guessed, I am not uh, doing this blind, and that's actually a, 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 a campaign of mine <laughs> here I'm working on, but, <coughs> well, uh, I'm not sure if I should uh, get to that here, and I have downloaded a lot of stuff so that I uh, would have uh, uh, some... <coughs> Hmm, what was the campaign? The Rise of Wesen of... Uh, yes, this one. Lead Prince Holdrick through the destruction of a green island across the ocean to establish the very kingdom of Wesen of it itself. The confrontation of with Lich Lord Jivian awaits. Uh, <coughs> so, I am not doing this blind. Uh, and... And on top of that, I, uh, well, you could say I'm cheating a little bit. I have uh, these uh, notes here that tell me uh, uh, which uh, units will uh, stay with me uh, across the across the scenario. So, <laughs> and. And even on top of that, I will be saves coming uh, at least a little bit. Uh, I think I'll saves come only when uh, one of these people die that uh, are sort of important. <coughs> Not even when uh, uh, level 3 normal, <laughs> sort of normal unit dies. But uh, this is a very hard. A very difficult game, and this is an expert level campaign. I'm not sure if I'm up to this hard hard, <coughs> but we shall try this. And yes, I'll be playing on easy because, well, this is a <laughs> very highly, a very unforgiving uh, uh, game. <coughs> Come on, you can load faster than that. Well, uh, this slowness might... <coughs> In the days before Holdrick first saved our people and founded the Kingdom of Vesnov, we came from an island kingdom far to the west. So, at least we uh, get some sort of history. Uh, <coughs> We were prosperous, uh, strong, and numerous. We lived in a, in a rich land with many kings. When they came, the West Folk, they were a wicked, brutal, and dirty lot. Uh, homeland of the West Folk. Um, Blackmoor, Clearwater Port, South Bay, Stoneville, Chewian's Haven. <coughs> Well, uh, I haven't uh, looked at uh, the geography uh, much, so uh, that's why I, I was so interested. Uh, we, were, uh, we vanquished ref refugees of some war, fleeing from their homes in a land even f farther off into the west. The west folk were not numerous, but they used dark magic, commanding vengeful spirits and legions of walking dead. After a time of great struggle, is a what struggle? A political struggle. A peace was reached. We came to dominate most of the isle, with West Folk pushed on to the most marginal of lands. In confronting the wild legions, we grew strong. And the reason why I'm uh, doing this campaign first is because I'm uh, trying to do this, uh, this in a, a chronological order. Uh, in uh, confronting the wild legions, we grew strong. 
Indeed, it was from this war we gleaned our first shards of knowledge about magic. You must recall that the route from the western continent to our green isle was perilous at the best of times, so, per so perilous that a stable trading relationship between the mainland and the isle could never be maintained. The mysterious east. Hmm. <clears throat> Things were worse still when sailing to the east. A, a strong cold ocean is Ocean current swept down from the north into the in the eastern ocean, pushing all ships horribly off course. Ships that travelled east and returned re reported nothing but ocean open ocean and wild sea monsters. That's uh, <coughs> that reminds me of the description I would uh, give to the. Uh, great sea of the Mandico fantasy world, uh, at least uh, how I thought of it uh, when well, uh, designing that fantasy world. Anyway, uh, over time our skills as navigators grew, when one day the strong-hearted Crown Prince of South Bay returned home from a long voyage with a fabulous Tale. He said that there were uh, lands to the east that could be reached by aggressively sailing to the east and north to compensate for the southern, southern pool of the ocean. It wasn't long after, the, after he returned that the very crown prince who discovered the land to the east fell ill and died under mysterious circumstances. His younger brother... Brothers, brothers, we should be struggling together. We are. And next in line, I should probably have uh, reserved that for a better place. Uh, and next in line to a throne shafted at the eye of suspicion cast upon him. Uh, he... His younger brother, I mean... He conspired to start a war of destruction with the poor, poor Westfall kingdoms and the rich lords. The new crown prince departed with the largest army ever, ever assembled on the isle to make war with the Westfall. This is where our story begins. With the plight of a different prince on the same isle. Uh, for this is the story of Holdrick the First and the rise of Vesnov. Happening, it's happening somewhere near Stormvale, it seems. A summer of storms is the name of the scenario. So I am uh, rendering the uh, <coughs> previous episodes on the background. So this may might be a bit slow. The trouble seems to have uh, finally reached to the isle, heart of the isle, to the isolated lands of King Elderic the Fourth. It. L <sighs> hmm, I should think of a voice. Well, uh, King Elderic the Fourth won't be staying with us for much longer, so. Uh, I think I'll just give him a, a generic old. <laughs> I mean, well, uh, if I say it's generic, uh, when it, uh, I don't think I am di discriminating against. Well, I might be from some people's opinions, but uh, the term generic uh, gives uh, uh, gives um, leniency for the. Uh, it it just says it's uh, not uh, well. Uh, what what am I? Who am I kidding? Anyway, it's just the use of a uh, uh, sort of old voice, if you if you uh, ex if you can excuse this uh, stereotype. It looks like a Westfolk rebel have seized the Ronovan keep. Prepare for battle, Aldrich. Uh, and now I should uh, really think of some some voice that isn't unbearable because Prince Aldrich is uh, the main hero of his story, I believe. 
a twist. Father, I am of age now. May I may I lead our force in battle? You're showing initiative, son. I'm proud of you. Yes, you may lead our force to battle. It is time, but I'll stay near to uh, near to keep an I'll stay near to keep an eye on you. I'll stay near to keep an I'll stay near to keep near to near to keep an eye on you. <laughs> uh, I I thought he meant vis keep, not the verb keep. <laughs> well, there is more. To this uh, once again shows that English is, is a stupid language. Where is... Well, pretty much any natural language is stupid like that, but... We are not speaking large barn here, <laughs> people. Uh, stupid viewers, you should all <laughs> learn to speak large barn. Where is more to this rage than meets, meets the eye, I think? Where are Westfall? Reavers and thieves by nature. Where is the summer they do not trade us? What mystery is in it now? These are not normal times. When the Prince of South Bay has raised a host that could utterly destroy them, why would they compound their troubles by raising a quarrel with another king? Perhaps there are refugees fleeing his advance. Unlikely. The prince they might evade in the wild country of the south and east of here is more thickly settled with our folk and a greater danger to them. Even supposing they could win through us, why, why court the wrath of the greater kingdoms? We must inquire the survivors after we defeat them. Onward to victory! And, and I should uh, think of a voice for this uh, this one also because I think she's uh, going to be with us for uh, well re the rest of the game pretty much. Um. L look, look, a little princeling and his merry men. We'll teach you a lesson for what your kind did to us. Um, turns on out. Er early finish bones, good. This is pretty much the typical scenario, so... And... Even scrolling is a bit slow. Let's see, who do we have against us? Somehow I I am remembering that uh, some uh, people might appear here, somewhere around there. Because I have played this game before, as I thought. I already told you, my name is... <laughs> <clears throat> so, let's see, who can she re recruit? I believe uh, she can recruit the outlaw things. We have, we have trolls, we have vlogs, we have siege towers, and we all siege the city. I mean, we have uh, thieves and uh, outlaws and thugs and, well, uh, most of them are melee. We might even have rogues or something like that. So, I think I'll go with a couple of Meichai. Uh, I should probably get a horseman also. Or a woman! 
so I can uh, uh, <coughs> well uh, King Elderic the Fourth is uh, uh, capturing this t town, so. Hmm. The horsemen have uh, <coughs> have more hit points than the spearmen does. Hmm. So I only have eighty five gold. So I really must think carefully who I uh, recruit. <sighs> Let's see. Do I have profiles of the uh, thieves? Um, I think they are under Hunem's footpads. Yes, I seem to have uh, <coughs> profiles of them. So they are weak against blades. Let's see. Uh, not probably not fences. They aren't. Uh, <coughs> they don't really have much disadvantages. Uh, many disadvantages. Hmm. Fear. Fear. <coughs> Blade and impact, it seems, also. Uh, and then, fuck. No, no disadvantage. disadvantages, really. So, I really should look for one. Someone with a, uh, with a blade, and the bowmen or oh, women seem to have uh, just that. However, um, they aren't really good for uh, tanking damage. Should I go with a bowman? I probably should at get at least one uh, one tanking unit and probably not a w one with a charge attack because well <laughs> it could backfire so let's get with, get a spearman the rest of them should be bowmen I wonder how many how much gold this uh, Westfolk leader has well, we shall see. You'll see. Oh, yes, you will see. So, uh, yes, I think I'll uh, <coughs> recruit f f f uh, during the next turn also. I, uh, recklessness might stab me in the back. So let's use this person to get the uh, village to my side, capture the village, and then let's seek the short staff. It seems to be across that water, across that river. There. So we shall use that, <coughs> that path. Uh, and let's use the the same, uh, uh, pretty much the same uh, uh, setup as we did before, but this time we'll get a um, mage instead of. Well, we <laughs> we don't have the uh, money to get everything we did the last last time. Hmm. We must have uh, some people uh, claiming these villages, so we'll just use Prince Holdrick and uh, King Eldrick the Fourth. I believe they uh, have what it takes to defend themselves. <sighs> and you shall use the witch because. Well, uh, just because. Because you are going into this uh, southwestern uh, corner here. 
it might be a bit dangerous uh, because I I'm pretty sure there's an, uh, some people arrive uh, <coughs> a bit later in this scenario, but for now I'll just stick with that plan. King Elderic has re leadership, actually. That could prove to be useful. Should I actually... But it's too dangerous to risk... Dangerous to risk... Uh, Prince Holric on himself. <sighs> Which way should I... Uh, go with King Elderic? I think we shall uh, aim for a swift victory here. Uh, she seems to be almost out of money already, so I think that will be the best course of action. And let's go, go into defensive positions. Not so defensive there. <sighs> hmm. No, King Elric needs to be in a position where he can uh, use his leadership uh, effectively. So, it's only... Well... Uh, I think... Uh, Actually, let's try that planning mode now. You go there, you go there, uh, and be, and you are media also, so you shall go there. And I don't have any other melee units at ready, so if I move them uh, uh, a bit further, what would happen then? And you shall go one tile further. And it seems that uh, they can only attack my uh, spearman and uh, Prince Holdrick now, and they are. They have this leadership advantage. However, however, this uh, this stand a pretty good chance of killing Prince Holdrick. So, no, that doesn't seem to be uh, the best course of action. Delete action. So, where is Prince Holdrick right now? There. <coughs> Delete even, yeah, even that action. Hmm. That action also. Perhaps. Perhaps if I bring them. No, when I wouldn't have this defensive position there. <sighs> Just grab that village. That, seem, that seems like a pretty good uh, idea. And now execute all of the actions. There. Now we can attack this bowman, but... Only one of them. I think that should be all right. Mm -hmm. It should be. <laughs> well, uh, they might... Uh, <sighs> they might not uh, attack all of them. All of them might not attack the same target. And that's uh, usually a good idea. Good, it didn't do much damage. 
Don't forget about some of the more isolated villages. We'll need the gold. 